Hey, I was just reading my book. I love reading because when I see letters that make up words and I read the words, it feels like the words come to life. Oh, like this one. Let's read it. Cat. Oh, so cute. Hmm, can you read it? Jet, whoa! <laughs> What's that say? Hot dog! Mm, yum! Mm. After that little hot dog snack, I think I'm ready to talk more about reading. The first step of reading is knowing about letters. Letters make up words and words make up sentences. Do you remember the names of the two kinds of letters? They are consonants and vowels. Sometimes I put the consonants in blue and the vowels in red so we can see that they're different. What exactly makes them different? It's how the sounds are made. Consonants are made with the lips, the teeth, and tongue. Can you think of any consonant sounds? How about f or p or o? If consonants are made with our lips, teeth, and tongue, where are vowel sounds made? Vowel sounds are made in the middle of our mouth. They aren't blocked by our lips, teeth, or tongue, so the sound comes out nice and clear. This makes it super easy to sing and yell. Which letters are vowels anyways? Can you yell them out with me? Not too loud though. A E I O U See how they come from the middle of my mouth? That makes it easy to sing and yell them. A, E, I, O, U. Am I missing a vowel? Oh yeah! We know that while Y makes a consonant sound at the start of words like yellow, Y can sometimes make a vowel sound. We will learn much more about Y later on. So, we have A, E, I, O, and U. Those are the names of the letters. When they say their names, they're making long sounds. Can these letters make other sounds? Yep, they can make short sounds too. Can you make the short sounds with me? I put the letters in this order because we are going to slowly be opening our mouth more and more as we make our short vowel sounds. Let's practice. E, E, A, O, A. E, like a zip, because our mouth is almost zipped up. E. Eh, we open up a little more like in egg. Eh. Ah, open even more to bite an apple. Ah. Uh, keep opening. This is our glum umbrella sound. Uh. Ah, open wide like you're at the doctor. Ah. Let's practice again. I, e, e, a, 
a a Can you feel your mouth opening and your chin moving down? Make those short sounds one more time for me. I e a a a In the last course, we worked on words with short vowel sounds that were in the same word families. Do you remember some words that are in the at word family? I thought of cat, rat, hat, and mat. They rhyme. Remember that in a word family, the middle sounds and end sounds don't change. Only the first sounds change. They're also spelled the same. So the middle and end letters don't change. Only the first letter changes. We are going to practice reading words with short vowel sounds. Here's a word. Read the word out loud and imagine a picture that could go with it. Bag. Here's a picture I thought of. Let's read the word again together. Bag. Wet. Dog. Tub. Pig. Hen. Bed. Mop. Sad. Sub. Pin. Great work! And I have some exciting news. Now that you know how to read these words, you can read any other words that start and end with a consonant and have a short vowel in the middle, even ones you haven't seen yet. There are a lot of them that we can use to make sentences. How about this word? Try to read this word. Not. What sentence could we say with the word not? Hmm. What about do not? What does that say? Yeah, Mia, do not eat my hot dog. How about this word? Try to read this word. Did. What sentence could we say with the word did? Did you eat my hot dog? <laughs> okay, okay, enough about hot dogs. How about this word? Try to read it. Can. What sentence could we say with the word can? Oh, yeah, this word can mean a soda can, but we can also use it to talk about what we can do. Oh, wow, I can think of a lot of things I can do. I can run. Whew. I can hug. I can 
nod. What can you do? I hope you said, I can read because you can. I bet you can read these words too. Pause the video, read each word, and think of a sentence that uses that word. You did a great job. I know you can do anything you set your mind to. And don't forget to always, <laughs> Mia, no. Don't forget to always be clever. Hey.